welcome back to growing scientists today uh, we will learn to implement feature flagging in react uh, using a powerful platform called launch darkly so as you can see on my screen is launch darkly website uh, so to implement feature flagging we need to first sign in if you don't have any account of launch tankly then you have to sign up you can sign in or sign up using your google account so this is launch tackly dashboard i'll talk about feature flagging uh, why is it required so feature and flagging allow us to control our application features remotely so in this case we are using this platform to control certain features or our, of our application which is already deployed enabling us to roll out certain functionality to certain specific peoples a certain percentage of uh, users so this is the main feature of the feature flagging without actually redeploying the code or without actually having the knowledge of code so any non technical people can also uh, control the features using this platform so this is the advantage of feature flagging so let's implement feature flagging in react so it has uh, this platform supports all other sdks also we first need to create a feature uh, let me show you how we create a feature so as you can see on my screen i have already created a feature so this is flag button so basically what i am doing i have created a react application which is showing a button which is labeled as feature flag button so our intention is to show this button to only specific person or specific user else we will show something like you are not authorized to this button use this button so yes let's implement that you can see my um, code this is basic app.js file having one component called button we will selectively show this button component to certain users let's implement that Okay, now uh, what I have to do, I have already created a feature for flag button, but I'll create another uh, for demo. So let's say create a flag. So you have to type the feature name. So let me say button show button. Say let's show button. So we will show this button to specific person or specific user so show button it will all automatically create a key and we need to select the client side sdk availability so we are using since we are using react so we will use sdk using client side id this one react if you are using react native you have to select this one and this is flag variation so this is asking so how would you like to see the response actually so i have selected a boolean value which will either give a true or false value on toggling on of the feature so now let's say save flag so show button is already uh, feature is created now you can see the target over targeting tab you can add individual users you can add more users uh, to this feature so they can uh, have access to this feature I think for now this is okay because we already when you create your account uh, for launch darkly it by default creates a user uh, for you and adds that user to individual target similarly you can add your rules over here so it basically tells you to how to add certain percentage of user or how to roll out the features to how much population you need you have to roll out the features and many features like that 
I think that's all we need uh, to set up this feature flag. Now let's go to our features. So now let's go to the technical part. So you can see this connect and SDK. So when you click your connect and SDK, it will open the documentation to how to integrate this feature flagging in your application so you have to first select the environment for now we are using production environment and the SDK I'm using react so you have to select this then continue then you have to select feature so let me select the show button feature and save and continue now it will show you the steps for integrating launch actually SDK in your react application it is saying first if you don't have any react project create one and then install launch darkly sdk so i have already installed it but let me install it for you so using this command you will install the launch darkly sdk now the next step is you have to uh, you will get two basically two higher order function from this SDK with uh, which is one is with LD provider so you have to wrap your whole application in or the main uh, outermost component of your application that is app component within this high, higher order function so how we do that we import this with LD provider and pass our component to this let me copy this and you will see this we pass an object to it which contains your client side id which actually tells about you your account and this is context that is optional so it, it tells about the user who is using this application so this is optional so you can see the user the default user which is created when you create a launch darkly website over here so let's copy and implement this in our application so this is my app.js and i'll remove this and we i'll add this detail so i'm passing the app component to this higher order component with LD provider and let me import LD provider with LD provider so that's it now we can comment this uh, context also this is optional now let's go to the button component now the next step is the component where you which you want to render differentially this is the component used in this example so we get another higher order component with this SDK with LD consumer so we will use this we pass that component to the with LD consumer so in our case this is button So you can see, now let me import with consumer. You can import this with consumer, with LD consumer. So I have imported. What this LD consumer does is it adds more properties uh, to our basic component. And those properties, let's destructure those properties comes under a flag and let's console.log that flags to see what data is coming from launch darkly inside the flag properties let me save it so you can see this it is incorporating flag properties within the component and we are using that flags.show uh, button flag feature we just created in the launch darkly and we are 
XSC. Based on that feature, we are showing the um, elements or not. So let's. So so far we are not uh, selectively rendering this button. We are only just showing, uh, consoling the flag properties that we are getting. So let's see what we are getting in the flag properties in the console. So you can see in the console, launch darkly is initialized and that means it is initialized successfully. So you can see launch darkly is initialized successfully and we are also consoling that uh, features flags object that we are getting so in the ob uh, flags object we are getting some methods and some properties you can see our features over here show button feature that we just created and the another uh, uh, feature flag button that we uh, that i have created before you can see the created features listed over here see these two features are listed over here so we just need to access this on our application let's do it so what i'll do i'll i'll use flag flags dot what was the name of the feature show button show button so if it is true it will show the button else else it will show the message you are not authorized to this feature okay so let me save it and let's see whether it is so you can see that feature is false for now so that's why we are saying you are not authorized to see this and the great thing about this is uh, launch actually is that it updates real time so you don't need to refresh your application so now if i toggle this feature on save changes now it is on now you can see that button on the screen i can toggle off this feature again for this user and you will see that this feature is turned off now so that's all about feature flagging so let me conclude this uh, feature flagging actually enables the developer to safely and seamlessly introduce new features and improve user experience without causing disruption it also enables uh, non-technical people to roll out features to certain uh, users certain numbers of users or certain percentage of users so there are many more uh, use cases of uh, feature flagging so you can also give it a try you can uh, use it uh, for hiding or showing certain uis to a specific user so please give it a try and i keep posting such videos on my channel if you like this video please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you